that was an awesome atmosphere again Saturday. Um, I know it was a hot day. We, <laughs> I felt it for sure on the sideline. I look up and everybody's in black and but cheering their tails off, and it was awesome. And this will be a great environment in the Big 12. I think um, you know a lot of our away games in the Big 12 this this year will be some some great environments for for college football. Uh, this will be at night. It's a blackout. I'm sure, it's a sellout. Um, you know, so so a lot of great environment for football. Yeah, I mean that's it's tough. It's difficult. I, I think you know to try to simulate that. Well, obviously. You know, use several guys in practice to be able to try to simulate that. But I mean, you're not going to simulate a guy who's 230 pounds that runs like he does. Um, you know, and, and you, when you're trying to defend the pass and you're spreading everybody out, you're getting a little bit of thin in the box there. And there you go, he hands it off. And now you got a, one guy's trying to come tackle this guy. So we got to really rally to the football, try to get a lot of hats to the ball whenever whenever he does run it. They're, they're more of the up tempo, spreading it out and rolling with it, and, you know, getting in rhythm. And you know, obviously, we're a little bit more, you know, huddling ball control and run the football and play action and those type things. So, um, yeah, I mean, the similarities are certainly similar in size. They're both from Texas. They're both really good quarterbacks, um, you know, and, and, you know, should be a good matchup between the two. You know, playing a lot of guys, and I think that's going to help. I think, you know, if you're able to rotate guys in and out, keep them fresh. Uh, because it really affects the second and fourth quarters, you know, after you play the, the first and third quarter, you know, and keep those guys fresh. We got to keep rotating. We got we got to have it out of those guys. They got to continue to get to the quarterback, particularly this week when a team that may throw it, you know, 45, 50 times. So we got to be able to get in the backfield and you know, and try to get him to move a little bit and get off his spot. Yeah, I look forward to playing the night game for sure. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, the guys are excited. Um, we're excited to get to work today, uh, get to Texas Tech, and let's get to work. Uh, thank you to Swordsby, too. I told him already that so did the guys. We're very appreciative for him to do that, you know, bring us those donuts. It was definitely thoughtful. Um, and we just ready to hopefully go get another one again this weekend. <laughs> yeah, I tried to, to get enough for the staff and, and the offense to, you know, also and enjoy some donuts. But obviously the defense getting a shutout was a big deal. So try to reward them and, you know, Canteen went and picked him up, obviously. So I'm sure he had to make a couple phone calls as well. But uh, no, nah, it was uh, definitely a good experience and, and the guys were really happy about it. You know, getting to go back home is, is very exciting for me. Uh, should have a ton of people there, a lot of family, a lot of friends. So it'll be good to get back into Texas. Obviously, like you said, it's still probably four and a half, five hours away from home, but uh, it's, uh, it's gonna be good to be back in Texas. We're able to finally get to watch maybe a little college game day and and maybe some earlier uh, some earlier college games, but it'll be good. Obviously, a good experience for us to, to get on the road and you know um, just see what it's like. Obviously, you know a lot of guys probably haven't had a night kickoff, but uh, it'll be good for us to, to go through and you know find a way to, to go win a game. But uh, definitely a good experience.